What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek, and we are coming in with some free picks on prize picks for Thursday, June 12th in the NBA and in esports. And then I'm going to be giving you guys my favorite pick on prize picks for the NHL playoffs tomorrow night. Even if you're not an NHL fan, I'm not personally an NHL fan, but I found some really, really valuable bets in the market. And I really suggest that you guys tail because you can find a lot of value on these sports that not a lot of people watch. So first, let's go over everything that we've won in the past couple of days. So first, we had this League of Legends cash. We had Viper going less than 9.5, 369 going more than 6.5, Zeka to go less than 9.5. He didn't even get a single kill. And then Cream and Jackie Love to go over 17 kills on map 1 through 2. You guys might be thinking, what is League of Legends? What is this game? Who are these players? And the honest answer, guys, is you don't need to know. League of Legends is just, it's like a multiplayer video game. If you guys aren't familiar with it, you know, I've never played it, but it's basically just a nerdy game where the goal is to go on the map and kill each other, right? And so we have figured out a, we as in my Discord, and I'm going to be showing you guys later in the video inside of the Discord, we have figured out a profitable strategy on prize picks called Correlation, where essentially we are choosing two different players on the same team to both go less than their kills or more than their kills. And these two things are correlated, meaning when one thing happens, another thing happens. So for example, Viper and Zeka are on the same team. And they are playing against this team called Tess, which has the players 369, Cream, and Jackie Love. So Cream, Jackie Love, and 369 are on the team that is dominating Zeka and Viper. And so it makes sense that they're going to get a lot of kills, right? And then Zeka and Viper are going to get less kills because they're getting dominated in the game. So when this team dominates this team, then it's likely they're going to go over their kills and the other team is going to go less. And that makes it way easier to hit these 10x parlays, right? Well, in this case, it's it's a 9.5x payout because of the correlation. It takes it down a little bit. But still, this is a very, very profitable strategy. And like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get these slips later in the video. Um, so the second cash we had was this. This was also League of Legends. Uh, we had On Fleek, which is a funny name, to go less than 6.5. He only got 2. And Gavoto to go less than 9.5. And, and he only got 3. So that cashed easily. We had Zeon to go more than 4. He got 6. And then this was the Taco for yesterday. This one was kind of sweaty. Needed Asia Wilson to go over 22, and I think she had like a scoring burst in the fourth quarter. She ended up getting 28, so that worked out in our favor. Um, the third cash we had was this League of Legends slip. Um, like I said, we've been killing it in League of Legends. This was a 5x, I believe, because this player DNP'd. Bug Axe less than 5.5. He got one. Super easy. Then Nobody and Ganks to go over. They both went over by one and two, respectively. Um, what was next? So we had this League of Legends stack as well. We used Gavoto again, and then we had Triggered to go less than 8. He got 7, so that was pretty close. And then we had these two. These are also correlated. So this is the pitcher to go less than 2.5 earned runs. So how many runs is the you know pitcher going to throw? And then we had Austin Riley to go less than 0 0.5 runs. So obviously, if Austin Riley doesn't get a run, it's more likely that Albert Suarez, the pitcher on the other team, is going to get less than 2.5 earned runs allowed. And so like I said, guys, this correlation is super strong on prize picks. You're going to want to use slips like this when you play on prize picks. Because it makes it way, way easier to win. And I believe that is it. We had those four caches for yesterday. So without further ado, let's get into the free pick for today. So this is actually a... Um, I'm going to talk about the Mavericks and Celtics game in a second. But first, I want to give you my favorite pick on prize picks for tomorrow. Obviously, the Celtics and Mavericks game is tonight. But, you know, I want this video to be relevant for the people who are watching tomorrow. First pick, we have Vladimir Serenko to go more than 1.5 shots on goal. And I'm absolutely loving this prop. I found this on Outlier. And the reason why I love this is because he has gone over 1.5 shots on goal in all six of his last games. He's consistently going over this mark. He had three in the last game, two before that, three before that, two before that. He had a massive five in this game. And he had two in the last game. And I believe, guys, this is a game seven. So Florida and the New York Rangers have played six times. So this, excuse me, this is a game three, sorry. But regardless, he's been very, very consistent over these last six games. And I'm really liking this. This is a goblin, so it's going to reduce the payout a little bit. But it's still giving us a really, really good payout at 2.75x. When we add in this second prop that I really like, which is Stuart Skinner to go less than 25.5 goalie saves. And the reason why I'm liking this is because he has hit this line in 86 of his last 14 games. So 12 out of his... Last 14 games, he has gone under this line, under 25 and a half. Um, and the only two games where he went over, he had 31 and 33, respectively. He has not hit this line against the Florida Panthers. In the last two games against the, against the Panthers, he's had 25 and 15. And as you can see in these other games, he's not really getting close to 25. 
he's hovering around that 19, 20, 17, you know, 15, 14, even one game he had 11. So I think that is a testament to the defense of the Oilers as well as, you know, just the ability of them to not allow shots on goal to the opposing team. And so I really like this. I slapped $50 on this play to hit for 130.75. That's a 2.75x payout because of the Goblin. I still think that's really, really good, guys. I'm feeling really good about this pick. So without further ado, I'm going to give you guys some free League of Legends slips um, so that hopefully you guys can cash out with me. If you want to get these at their most valuable state, unbumped, and I'm going to show you what unbumped means in a second, then I highly recommend you join the Discord. The link is going to be down in the description. I can show you guys inside the Discord exactly how it works after these slips. So it looks like two more were just posted, so I'm going to go ahead and lock these babies in. Um, let's see. So yeah, our League of Legends slips are posted in the Prize Picks channel. Looks like that's not available anymore. Let's see. I might have already put these in. I don't know. So yeah, okay. Hope Shanks. Hope Shanks. All right, so looks like these are off the board. Sometimes they go off the board kind of fast, but um, if these are still up, if they are put back up when you guys are looking at this, then you're going to want to copy this. This is a Valorant stack. This is another video game. Um, it's kind of like League of Legends. But we have Mayori to go over 30, Proxima to go more than 28 and a half, Shanks to go less than seven and a half, and Hope to go less than eight and a half. And so, like I was saying, guys, when these slips are posted, the link is gonna be in the thread right here. So someone's gonna post a link. All you have to do is click on the link and then place the appropriate unit size on it. So for example, this is 0.25 units. One unit is one percent of your bankroll. So if you have two thousand dollars, you know, for example, then one unit is twenty dollars. And 0.25 units, if you have a $2,000 bankroll, would be $5. So you would place $5 on this slip. I personally do 0.5 units. I just, my risk tolerance, but, um, you know, you can either choose to go to 0.25 or you can do 0.5. Let me see if I can show you how the link system works. Um, see if there's any that aren't off the board. Yeah, so this is posted, and then someone's going to post a link. Just click on it. It'll say lineup copied. Looks like it glitched out a little bit. Yeah, so it'll copy the lineup and then you just place however much you want. And then you hit submit lineup and you just go about your day. It's really that easy, guys, to make money betting on sports. I, I try to tell people that's literally all you have to do is copy links from profitable players and you can make money betting on sports. Um, yeah, so this is... Let me give you guys some more slips. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. We've got Alkia to go less than 34.5. Ness to go less than 29.5. Res Q to go less than 34. And let me move my camera. I know you guys probably can't see the name. Roxy to go less than 27 and a half. And if you didn't catch the name in the other one because my camera was blocking it, it was Hope. I'm just going to give you guys like 10 slips. And hopefully these are, you know, not off the board. Hopefully they're not too or too early in the morning. We've got Bayonetta to go less than one and a half. Phenomenal to go less than two and a half. Kalise to go less than six. And Abe Dig to, to go less than four. Next, we have Teddy to go less than 7.5, Sponge less than 4.5, Mateus La Classe to go more than 4, and Pride to go more than 1.5. And, and guys, if you notice, these slips are going to be bumped, meaning the lines are going to be changed. It's probably going to be like Teddy less than 7, Sponge less than 4, Mateus La Classe more than 4.5 or 5 or something. And guys, that is why it is so important to join the Discord, because if you get these slips when the lines have changed, that means the value has been reduced. We are getting these slips at the most valuable point that you can get them at, which is when the line first drops. So, you know, if the if the slip bumps, it's it's not really good. It's not advantageous because what if Teddy gets, sorry, what if Mateus La Classe gets four kills, right? But you got more than four and a half. You're going to lose the slip, whereas we're all going to win the slip. So it's really, really important to get these as soon as they drop. So I highly recommend you guys, you know, join using the link in the description. We've got Ruep to go less than four and a half. Zest less than three, Bean less than three and a half, and Citrus less than two. I'm not even looking at the times that these start. Some of these are going to start early. Some of them are going to start late, guys. So just tail whatever you can. Um, we got Whom to go less than two and a half, Kaori to go less than six, Ekas more than one and a half, and Cries to go more than one and a half. So I think that's going to be it for the slips that I give you for League of Legends, guys. Hopefully you guys tail these. I know they're going to be bumped. You know, the lines are going to be changed, which kind of sucks. I just recommend putting... You know, if you don't have that much money, don't put more than five bucks on these slips because they have around a 12 to 13% hit rate, which is really, really good because they pay out 10x, 9.5x. 
So all you have to do is hit around 13 to 14% of them to be profitable. And we hit those um, numbers easily. If you guys want to see all of our wins, you can go to the Juiced Wins channel where all of these wins are posted. Not only do we have a channel where all the wins are posted, but we have a channel where members can show their success, show how much money they are making. For example, Sharif joined on the 8th, and they are already up 81 units in the month of June alone. You know, for me, that would be, I'm currently rocking a $70 unit size on price picks because I'm a little bit limited, but that would be around 5.6K. Um, Frank Boop is up 51 units in June. That's awesome. Nicole up seven units. That's super sick. 45 units in one week. It's absolutely crazy with a 145% ROI. You know, if you guys want to check out these results, you guys want to get results just like this. You guys know what to do. But anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let's cash out and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.